Good morning, everybody. It's Ty with Apocalyptic Gardening. It's about 10 a.m. and 28 degrees outside. Uh, last night, I believe it got down to about 15 degrees. You can see snow on the ground. So the question is, what's it look like inside the underground greenhouse? And what are the temperatures like inside the underground greenhouse when it's freezing cold like this outside? I actually have not been in the greenhouse for about a month. I've been so busy selling real estate and uh, I'm so grateful for that. I've been super successful, but it has left my greenhouse unattended. Now I did run, if you come over here and look, before the snowstorm hit, I did run and put a bunch of barrels of water down here to catch some water and I'll use that water to water the greenhouse. But you'll notice even though there's snow all the way around, the top is melted. So. I'm gonna show you how I'm keeping it warmer inside the greenhouse. Let's go step inside. These buckets are, oh, I can get through it. They're frozen. So I don't wanna break the buckets, but now that I've got all this water collected, I can bring the buckets inside and the greenhouse is warm. So everything will melt inside there. Okay, so stepping inside the greenhouse, it is too warm for a coat. Right now in here, you can see it is, 73 74 degrees that's pretty awesome considering it's less than 30 degrees outside i recently installed this nest it's set to 60 you can see there but indoors it's 72 degrees i trust nest or i trust that thing so 72 degrees inside the greenhouse i've used this heating unit right here that i installed right before winter last year and that keeps it 60 degrees at the coldest through the nights here. When the sun comes out and hits this greenhouse, everything here starts warming up really fast. Even in the middle of winter, even on freezing cold nights like last night and cold days like we have right now today, that allows things in here to still grow as normal. So it's freezing cold outside, but it's spring inside. I did come in a couple weeks ago and trim the top. So you can see the top of all the trees have been trimmed. And you can see my pile of trimmings right here. I think in my last video, I talked about how the heater was broken. It wasn't the heater, it was the thermostat. And that's why we got the new thermostat. But you can see here, this avocado tree, it's dead. I'm gonna have to figure out what to replace there. I, I don't know, I don't know what to do. But I wanna show you something right here. I haven't actually noticed this before. If you look really close right here, right here, look, can you see it? There are blooms. We've got little flowers starting to show up. Oh, right here's a good one right here. See that right there and there and there and there. That means we'll have oranges starting here really soon. Coming over to the grapefruit tree, you'll notice back there, we've got several grapefruits. I'm actually gonna pick one of those today and eat it. If you remember last year, the grapefruits were ready in December. We ate them at Christmas time. We had some weird things going on this year, especially with the heater, where it kind of changed how the greenhouse normally works. Looks like here, you can see here, that's the biggest orange that we've ever had. It looks like they're still growing. You can see there's one here and back there, another one back there and one under here. So we've got some oranges growing, but even cooler. Look at all the blooms. Can you see all the blooms coming on here? So we are going to have oranges growing everywhere on here really soon. Back here, you can see grapefruit here. It's more back there. I'm gonna pick one of those ones today. We're gonna to go inside and eat it and see if it tastes good. Back here, this is the lemon tree. Now the heat, I think, affected this kind of weird because I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to eat that one or not. And if you notice here, this lemon is orange and those two back there are orange. I'm guessing that they're no good. Back there though, if you can see that, there is a lemon that I'm thinking is probably good. I'm wondering if we should pick that in the next couple weeks and try that one. And then right here is my crooked old lime tree. It's called my crooked old lime tree because if you look at this thing, it's all bent up. But the good news is we've got a lime here and another one back here. So that's also the biggest limes that I've ever gotten off this tree. These limes have always just kind of fallen off on me before they've gotten this big before. So I'm hopeful for the first time ever 
that we get limes. I don't know if it's normal for them to turn yellow like that. So maybe it'll be lemon limes. I don't know. Turn out to be Sprite. That's a bad joke. Here's the lily koi bushes. They're not looking that great, to be honest with you. I mean, you can see up here it's looking pretty good, but I had to actually cut off a whole bunch of dead stuff here. You can see there's a whole bunch of dead stuff back there that I should probably cut off as well. These are my tomato plants. This was cherry tomatoes. That over there was kind of the larger tomatoes. The heat pretty much destroyed those plants. I guess it is what it is. I probably just need to get in here and rip them out and plant new ones. But if you look down here, there are some cherry tomatoes that are still good. So maybe I'll send my wife out. I don't like cherry tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes at all, but I do like ketchup. Anyways, the thing I'm most excited about and super hopeful for, and we've talked about this before, is if you look down here, right there and there, those are pineapple plants. I've got some pineapples growing in here. Supposedly, did I say it right? Supp supposedly, supposedly, or is it supposedly? Anyways, supposedly, it takes 18 months to 24 months for pineapples to grow. You can see here, got these two here. They're looking really healthy so far. And then I got a third one back over here, not thinking that one's gonna make it, but so far it's hanging in there. I don't wanna take up too much of your time. Really, I just wanted to give you an update, let you know how things are going in here. I should probably get in here, plant some things. I bet that would be helpful. Without a doubt, they'd start growing right away. So if not, I should at least come in here and plant seeds for the garden outside. I've just been so freaking busy, I can't do anything. So before I pick that grapefruit really quick, you can see here, you got my, there we go. Oh, that was cold. Okay, we got my water here. We're gonna let that ice melt in here. And then I'll probably come out later on today or tomorrow and water all the plants. We're supposed to get some more snow this week. So I'm gonna get these buckets back outside as soon as possible to get more free water, right? Okay, so let's go pick a, a grapefruit. Okay. All right, guys, now which one? Well, the one that just fell right off is I guess the one I'll take. I was, gonna, I was gonna actually take this one here, but let's go inside. Smells good and give it a try. Okay, guys, got my grapefruit. Got my Cutco knife. We're gonna chop this thing open and eat it. But first, oh my gosh, it's so hot. Take the jacket off, let's get to it. It looks good inside. Smells okay. I smell better, but I think it's good. We're gonna give it a try. Okay, here we go. Another great grapefruit. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. It was good, it's okay, but it's not great. The ones from last year were amazing. So I'm guessing having that heater get so hot this year threw these off, but it's still good enough to eat. It just isn't as amazing as ones I've had in the past. All right guys, it is almost 6 p.m. Sun's getting ready to go down. I wanted to kind of come in the greenhouse and see what the temperatures are. It's still the same day we got here this morning. So I want to check to see, look. The water has melted in all the buckets. Now, we are expecting another snowstorm tonight. So I'm going to actually empty all of these buckets. We're gonna water the crap out of all these plants because we're gonna get a whole bunch of free water tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and just water these super quick. Okay, so I just watered the crap out of all these plants and I probably should come out here and add some of this to help all the trees grow. But the interesting thing, even though uh, it's been a nice sunny day, the sun actually hasn't been really on the greenhouse for probably over an hour now. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but the indoor temperatures already dropped to 61 degrees. So that means the heater's probably gonna be coming on pretty soon here. Thanks for watching. Please, if you found this information helpful, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button below to follow the progress of this awesome underground greenhouse. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.